I am very excited to show you this latest project. This is an Arduino module from the Little Bits kit. The Little Bits kit use these magnetic snaps to allow things just to simply connect together to make circuits. So this is the Arduino bit and uh, these two wires are connected to a power bit which is blue and are providing the power for the circuit and there's a USB connector which goes over to a PC and it's running the USB serial interface. So what I want to demonstrate is I'm going to connect I'm going to connect these uh, bar graph output displays and I'm going to connect an oscillator to this A0 input here. As you can see not much is going on really. And obviously that's because this Arduino here um, needs to be programmed. So I've actually programmed it with a, th a th new sketch I've developed called Softbits Live. So let me show you what Softbits Live looks like. Softbits Live is a web-based interface which looks vaguely like regular little bit in that sense that these things, notice, they basically you can snap together and form circuits. And I have a number of different types of soft bit. So for instance, I have an, if I have, um, say, input A0, I can... Uh, power that on with a power bit and that corresponds to the A0 input here. So if I take an output such as this A5 and A9 and connect it onto here and plug it Plug it back in again. Now is it working? And there we go. So by changing the circuit, by changing the circuit, it sent down a new sort of um, codes to execute by the sketch. So, uh, for instance, if I uh, disconnect this bit here, you see that the, it starts and stops together. Um, if I unpower this sequence, it will also stop. So again, what this is doing is reading the input A0 and outputting to A5 here. And this is the oscillator that's providing me the signal, so I can go slowly or fast. I'm using the oscillator as just to demonstrate that the uh, well the connection here. So for instance, what I can do here, let's just drag, drag this up here. I can get the different output, say the A9 output. Let's move that down here a moment so we can see what's going on. So this is the A9 output. So for instance, um, in this, I can drag the background around and move around here. Or I can drag individual pieces around. So if I pull on the snap, it uncouples. So for instance, I can snap on this piece instead. So now you notice that now the A9 is connected to the A0 input. And of course I can then dro drop that on as well and I have both the uh, outputs going. Now this sawtooth is ramping down. So I can use one of the action bits here. I'll use the invert. I can uh, so for instance I can drop that on the on there and then drop the A5 on the output of that so now they notice that these uh, are going in opposite directions and by making it fast I can go faster obviously now the, the thing is what is hard to explain here is in fact that the website the web page is actually executing these instructions and the Arduino is also executing the instructions. So as you can see here, the the power on 
is basically 255, which is five reference to the 5 volt signal that comes out of a power on on the control line. And that goes and then this inverter converts the 255 down to zero. And we're outputting them basically zero. Now so this one is running in the web page. It doesn't get any feedback currently from what's going on in the Arduino. Um, one of my next uh, improve one of my next improvements will be to add a uh, a status feedback so that you drop a status bit and power it up on here it will basically poll and then basically all these numbers will then be updated um, a few times a second the code the loop in here is running roughly a thousand times a second so this is basically the sort of minimal um, program like it's sort of as an example of, of something doing something real uh, that's just noise apparently on the uh, causing this little flickering here um, that's saying that's just drew off on here again put it off again I put it off so that's better not flickering now so I have uh, some other inputs interesting pieces here the communication between the web page and the Arduino um, I wrote to, to use the MIDI inst musical instrument um, format messages, and so basically the web page sends back uh, it sends down a system exclusive message with the data for the for the new program, and this is currently the program that's running, which basically is just the on. It has nothing else connected to it. For instance, if I drop this. Uh, you now see there's now two, three bytes here, and this instruction has a power on full of an out, um, output. So you can see how the code is being generated both with text and as bytes. So one of the uh, interesting input bits I have is I have a MIDI input bit. So this will actually decode incoming MIDI data in the Arduino end, and I can output that, for instance, say to A9. Now, in order to, to generate MIDI data currently, what I will do is I will start another sequence with another power bit down here, and I have a piano here. Now, this pa piano component only runs in the web page, but as I type on the keyboard on the PC, you can see that it's generating information and I have basically an output bit called output note so I drop that on here what's now actually ha what happens now is that this set of uh, set of bits running on the web page uses this output and actually fit you transmits it down to this MIDI input so as I play notes on the keyboard here, they get sent down. I want to show you it on the so this bar graph here is being driven from the note data I'm sending. So we can still do we can add another power bit. back oops this dragged go back over here and write another input bit and turn on the uh, so we can have both the oscillator output and the keyboard data being processed by the Arduino So that's basically a fairly simple demonstration of what I can do with uh, these soft bits. Oops. Your web page has crashed, he says. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, okay. Why can't I, dr I can drag you there? Oh. One of the things about uh, a control like this one is that it's 
taking its own mouse input here and this is actually a control because it's going to display information in real time where these are sort of d fairly dumb tiles basically or dumb bits so if I disconnect the piano bit then this area is now deactivated so I can just drag it as normal uh, when I'm dragging something uh, oh, sorry when you when you select something you've got two handles you can use one handle rotates the piece through a bit through 90 degrees and the other handle removes the bit from the screen so I can just remove these I don't want them. Now, just like with the little bits electronics modules, you can't actually sort of do anything wrong in terms of connecting these pieces together. They, they fit together in any order you, you like. It just won't do what you want necessarily, but it doesn't crash. There's no syntax. Unlike, you know, computer programming, there's no syntax to worry about. Um, it literally does just does what you want it to do. Um, so it's a very interesting, uh, very simple way to program. For instance, an Arduino. You just drag and drop. It really is. You can make any arbitrary programs you like. Um, sometimes they'll do what you want them to, sometimes you don't. But you don't have to do much in the way of really thinking. Just, you can just play with it. Um, I do have some other pieces, such as a splitter here. Oops, i got to get that better done. So I can then do, do things like that. I mean, not that it means much, but it does work. Um, so the main thing now for me is to add status feedback and add a lot, add a lot more different bits to the uh, mix.